Today, let's talk about the principle of hospitality, having open homes and open lives. I'm just going to read to you just a couple of words from Titus chapter 1, verse 8. This is part of the list that Paul gave to Titus of qualifications to look for to qualify men to be leaders, that is, elders in God's church. And in Titus chapter 1, verse 8, he says that a leader, an elder, must be hospitable. Now, as Paul listed these character qualities that Titus was to use to appoint leaders among the many new churches on the island of Crete, we see here that he mentioned the practice of hospitality. This means that God regards this as one characteristic of a person who's qualified for leadership among the people of God. God sees if we are hospitable or not. God cares if we are hospitable or not. Now, the ancient Greek word that we translate hospitable is simply philoxenos. And it simply means a lover, that is philo, of strangers, xenos. It's a mark of godly character to love more than those of your own family or group, but also to have a love for strangers and foreigners. Look, by nature, we stick to ourselves or to our own group. It may seem dangerous or foolish to extend love to strangers, but that's how God loved us. The Bible says that at one time we were strangers from God. When we were strangers from Him, He showed His love to us and He invited us into His home. The importance of hospitality ran deep in the ancient Middle East. When travelers crossed great distances over dry and dangerous ground, the hospitality of a stranger's tent might mean the difference between life and death. Failing to help a needy stranger was a disgrace, and the gift of simple hospitality was greatly appreciated. Now, we love Psalm 23 as a beautiful description of God as our shepherd, and he is. But Psalm 23 also describes God as our host. He prepares a table for us, even in the presence of our enemies. And as we come into God's house, he soothes our head with oil, a customary greeting practice among those ancient peoples. That's also in Psalm 23, verse 5. He fills our cup with refreshment, so much so that it runs over. Again, all of these are in verse 5 of Psalm 23. Now, as it is with God, so it should be with His people. They should show the practice of hospitality with open homes and open hearts, giving this gift to both friends and strangers. It isn't done to impress them with what wonderful hosts we are or how many beautiful things that we have in our home, but no, simply to bless them in Jesus' name and to open our lives to them. Romans chapter 12, verse 13 says that God's people should be given to hospitality. That word given is a strong word. Sometimes it's translated persecute, as in Romans chapter 12, verse 14. (laughs) The idea is to pursue people you don't know with hospitality. This is love in action, not just feelings, and something for every Christian, not only leaders. So open your home and your life to someone else soon. Ask God for the grace to do that and ask Him about it today.